ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion this week, and we're about to see him in action, folks. RT3, three-time SOM heavyweight champion. Six months on the injured shelf, Judas the Mad Hatter, after a horrible head injury, thanks to Anthony Katina. I'm glad somebody's happy to see him. It damn sure is not me. I'm not proud to see him ever. It was a sweet, it was a sweet moment for RT3 last week. Had a chance to catch up with him earlier today to come back to get his revenge on Anthony Katina and also capture the championship. It was indeed a moment that he'll hold highly for the remainder of his career. SOM heavyweight title on the line is a huge opportunity this week for Ethan Alexander Sharp. No doubt his biggest opportunity yet as he is uh, gonna have a shot at the championship, Judas. I will say one thing about RT3. He didn't show no ring rust last week for somebody that's been away from here five to six months. That just amazed me how he was able to pull it off. I'm still, I'm still in shock. RT3, a fighting champion, wanting to defend the title this week on the program. And you gotta admire that, that guts and the, and the that it takes to put your title on the line a week after winning the title, and the fact that you've only had one match in the past six months, and that was a it was a very short match last week with Anthony Katina. So yeah, he may not have showed a lot of ring rust, but if Ethan Sharp can take him the distance, this may be a dangerous moment for RT3. Yep, Sharp better hope he's not as mad as he was last week because this could be very well short. But I know Alex, Alexander's going to be pretty smart about what he's doing here with this big man. Right now he's not looking so good, though. Sharp could play his cards right. This would be a upset of monumental proportions. Oh, he... Uh, common sense escaped him on that one, I'd say, because you don't run into a brick wall just run flat over because you know you think, well, the brick wall's going to win every time. And listen to these idiots. Your RT3 looks better than ever, Judas. It looks to be in great shape. Look at our Alexander Sharp here. Cut him off there. Goes to a side headlock again. He has to play his cards right here, but he's got a chance. Just to see how RT3, what kind of uh, kind of ring shape he's in. No doubt he's been working out, and he's kept in incredible shape. But that doesn't replace the actual experience of being in competition one-on-one -on -one with an opponent, no matter the quality of the opponent. It doesn't replace that whatsoever. I was hoping he took enough air out of RT3. Sailed there for a second, but no, he's not splash. right there. Splash, nice, impressive. Not going to uh, splash out way right now. RT3 looking good. He needs to put this away early. Willie Manis in for a two. Uh -oh. Alexander's a little frustrated with himself right now. He no. Oh, that <laughs> RT3, uh, you might wake oh, him no, up. No, no, no. I, I've tried it before. I don't work. Oh, and no. Sharp going halfway across the ring. Sharp I'm trying to it. fire up the champion. He no. indeed no. did. No. We want to see no, it no. right no. here. Three needs to put it away oh, over the spear. Great. Great. And he cut him out right to the yes. knee. That's the way you do. Chop that tree down, Alexander. That's what I'm talking about. That man playing it smart. Now he's finally using that noodle, baby. <laughs> and I like the strategy of RT3. He was going for the spear. He was going to put the match away. But Sharp was well ahead in that moment. And now the title begins to hang in the balance. This is a serious threat to RT3 right here. Yes, sir. That knee. We just learned how strong that D really is. And now we finally got him, somebody's finally got him down on the ground where we see exactly what the boy's made of or what he's not made of yeah, right now. Yeah, we know the knee, the knee troubles the history, how long he was out of action thanks to the hands of Anthony Katina. And Sharp knows that. He is no dummy. He has, he has, he has watched this. He has went back and seen the past history for RT3 because why wouldn't you scout? This is the biggest opportunity of your career. No doubt he is. He knows everything about RT3. Went for a dragon screw there, and RT3 just collapsed. Yes, sir. We got the tip, typical David versus Goliath right here, and Goliath's not doing so well. Well, Goliath's off his feet, and uh, I, Ethan Sharp. I tell you what. I, no disrespect to the young man, but. You know, you go to the odds makers, and they're not going to give you a big chance against RT3 on a normal day. But you've got to look. This man is just coming back from an injury, as we've stated. And now you've seen pulling the leg here, putting a lot of pressure on that damaged knee. 
of, of RT3. Shoulders were down as Willie Manis is in a good spot here. That's exactly right, Matt. Any other time, uh, if this man was 100%, it'd be a harder mountain to climb. But right now, Mr. Ethan Sharp has got it going on. <laughs> Willie Manis checking in here. Sharp's got the leverage. This time the ref caught him. And he gave him a five count to break the hold. He was, I don't know what he's talking about there. He had him in a perfect wrestling hold here. I don't know what that idiot's problem is. He had him in the hold, but you can't use the ropes for leverage, Judas. What ropes? Of all people, you should, of course, a selective, uh, as, I tell, uh, as I tell Prince Malik, it's selective vision. Both of you have it. Oh, uh, look out here. Is he going for a, a sharpshooter here? Oh, modified sharpshooter. Oh, man, and he's putting more oh. pressure, more pressure on that surgically repaired knee of RT3. And for all you family people watching at home, pain and agony is what RT3 is getting right now, and he deserves every stinking bit of it for having that SOM heavyweight championship. RT3 in a bad spot here, Judas. Trying to get to the ropes. In a lot of pain. Look at RT3. Oh no! He breaks it. Rolls through. Takes his weight. That's smart. Being a bit, being the bigger man, he used his leverage and weight to break that hole. But the damage may have been done. Yes, sir. That's all it takes. Just a second extra pain. It, it makes a lot of difference. We could that, see, oh, oh no! Going for that dragon screw once again. Is Sharp's nail with an enziguri. I got to admit, RT3 just shot my mouth right there, and I was about to say we could have a new champion right now. But I don't know what's going to happen. I'm hoping Ethan Sharp can get up and capitalize. Well, it's any man's game right now. Oh, no! He kipped up, and the legs bothered him, but he looks like he's got it. Oh, close on. Where does superhuman strength come from? Oh, up again. Big blow. Here we go. Going to pick him up. That leg solid underneath. This is not 100% me that he's got going on. Look at that slam. Oh, he's feeling it now. He, should, he probably shouldn't have done it. That was probably a dumb mistake. That did take part. a lot out of him right there. But that leg was solid for the slam. Is RT3 now. Sizing him up for more offense. Reverse. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, no. Oh, he's trying for a Samoan drop. Watch out, RT3. Oh, Spear. Oh, no, no, Spear no, no, from out of nowhere. No, 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 and that's it, RT3 retains the SOM title. I thought a, not, a person under 100% couldn't do it, but he did it. RT3, I will give him props for it. He did do a fine job in defending that title today. I will give him that. And there you see it. Your reigning defending SOM heavyweight champion, RT3. And buddy, did he ever... Did he ever look impressive at times with that knee? That knee came into play. But you know it's going to be a target. A bullseye is going to be drawn on it going forward. But there is your champion, folks. We promised we'd see him this week. And he looks, uh, he looks to be back. And he is definitely the man. In